Today, I'd like to try doing a bit of voiceover while the time-lapse painting plays in the background. This is a fan art piece I did for The Last Unicorn, based on the book rather than the movie. I created it because I knew I was going to see the author, Peter S. Beagle, in a week, and wanted to give him a tribute piece. It was also a way for me to practice painting people in gouache. The first thing I did was create a digital sketch. As a digital artist for the past eight years, I feel very comfortable using digital tools in creating sketches and figuring out the composition. My favorite thing is to paint faces. I really liked how they looked in the sketch, but sadly, I wasn't able to keep it in the final because the detail was so tiny and blending with gouache wasn't working for me on such a small scale. The next thing I did was print out a low opacity version of my sketch on watercolor paper. I used this as a guide while I do the pencil sketch on top. Looking back, I almost wish I had kept this as a pencil drawing. With each iteration, I feel like I lost a piece of what I liked of the original sketch. Now I'm starting the underpainting. I use a blue color throughout to lay down my base shadows. The whole time I'm painting, I'm making sure that my layers are very thin. I use a lot of water to keep the blending more gradual. I'm using acrylic gouache, which means that unlike watercolor or watercolor-based gouache, the layer underneath won't pick up with water. This allows me to layer more effectively, but it also makes blending rather difficult. Using a lot of water will keep the paint wet while I work with it. From this point on, it's just a matter of building up detail bit by bit. On Saturday, the big day, I went to the book signing with Peter S. Beagle and Gail Strickland. It was a very small crowd which allowed one-on-one -on -one time with both authors and was an incredible experience. Life-changing even. I cried. I felt like a Fruit Loop. I couldn't think. But I just, oh, I can't even. I was so overwhelmed and I left feeling inspired to continue pursuing my dreams of being an author illustrator and I hope to give a copy of my finished book to both of them someday. If you're interested in supporting me directly as an artist, please consider following me on Patreon. Just $1 a month gets you access to all of my updates without missing a single one because of weird Facebook or Instagram algorithms. You'll also be able to request content from me, receive discounts on commissions, prints, and original artwork, and see the behind-the-scenes process of my creative endeavors.